Hey guys, it's uh, Daddy Clay, live from uh, Dad Labs World Headquarters here. Again, Thursday at 2, just like always. And uh, thanks everybody for checking in, being here. I'm, I'm very, very lucky that I'm here at all this week. Um, a little, got a little bit, feeling a little fluey. Got some, some, some flu-like sy symptoms um, that are uh, uh, completely, uh, absolutely self-inflicted. Um, had, a, had a big night last night, actually. Everybody at Dad Labs did. Uh, I know Daddy Troy's. We've got the booze flu. <laughs> As we like to say here at Dad Labs, we're, we're struggling. Struggling. Everyone's struggling. And not just a little. I mean, this is big struggling. This is big struggling. Um, and uh, it's all worth it. It's all good. Uh, we had a big night because the folks from Baby Swede were here. That's a dog. <laughs> that's a dog. He's the only one that's not struggling. Oh, I can't. You got your no, that's a thing. Uh, that's a dog. We have a dog. Uh, it's a puppy. That's Brad's, Brad's Beagle. Puppy named Camp. Thank you, Camp. Uh, Thanks for making an appearance. Uh, yeah, so the uh, the sponsors were in town. Um, that is uh, Baby Bjorn, you know, that uh, Dad Labs is sponsored, exclusive sponsor since January 1 of this year has been Baby Bjorn. And Baby Bjorn just keeps the lights on. The few, we Actually, there's only one light at Dad Labs, and it's this one uh, right here next to Troy. Uh, this light right here is kept on by baby bjorn so we want to thank them for keeping that light illuminated um and they pay of course for all this dad labs world headquarters where we broadcast from every thursday at two o'clock and of course you can watch it right on parenting.howcast.com backslash live you can watch it on dadlabs.com uh all great places to uh to watch the broadcast but anyway, uh, so our, our sponsors are in town, and they're fantastic. Um, actually, so just so you know, the brand is, is, uh, is Baby Bjorn, um, but the checks are actually written by the, uh, the North American distributor of Baby Bjorn. It's a company called Baby Swede, based in a lovely Cleveland, Ohio. And every so often, we get Big Jim uh, comes in from Cleveland, to talk about dad labs and uh, to talk about how we're doing, give us a little evaluation, check in, all that kind of stuff. And um, these guys are awesome. First of all, let me just say that it's a big risk to advertise with an online video company like dad labs. Um, and it's sort of an unknown quantity. Uh, it's new and Baby Bjorn stepped in, Baby Swede stepped in, Jim and these guys came on board uh, a year ago and said, we're really interested in this, we love what you guys are doing, we want to support it, um, we're in. And they gave us creative freedom to take risks, to do things that were sometimes, you know, pushing the, uh, pushing the boundaries a little bit. Um, and, they've, and they've basically, they've, they've stuck with us uh, uh, from the beginning, essentially, and it is so hard. It is so hard to, in in the world of online video to find a company that understands the opportunity, that understands the new medium, that's willing to put dollars behind it, and that will stick with you for a long period of time. They've been our sponsors for six months, six months of videos, four videos a week, for six months. I, how many is that, Troy? Uh, Twenty-four. That's and, and uh, ten base. Four, four a week for six, six months. months. Oh, six yeah. months. Oh. So it's four. It's a long time. Four, it's four times four times six. Mathematicians. Six is 96, isn't it? So it's about 100 videos. So they've been with us for about 100 videos. And, um, and they've actually, they've decided, uh, the good news is they've decided to extend their sponsorship Um uh, for the rest of the year, so we're we're pretty pumped about that. Um, we're going to be bringing in some co-sponsors, but Baby Bjorn is awesome. And not only not only uh, are they are they uh, you know awesome for having believed in us and for having to you know willing to try this experiment, see if it works out with web video. They're also, they're fun and they 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 like to party. Uh, so they came into town, 
and uh, all the dads from Dadlabs got the kitchen passes. This is one of the one of the ways that you can get a kitchen pass. Uh, is if it's work, you know, it's work, honey. I got a, the big sponsors are in town. Big Jim calls us up. He wants to go out and play. So, uh, so we got permission. All the Dadlabs guys got permission to uh, to go and, and and hang out with Jim and, and some of the guys from his team. Um, beautiful weather in Austin, Texas. It has just been fantastic here. Ideal. Uh, you know, highs in the low 80s, cool mornings and evenings, uh, just absolutely beautiful. So we decided to take them to a great, a great sort of Austin traditional place called the Podgy House, uh, kind of by, kind of clear near the lake. Um, beautiful patio surrounding a, a really small sort of old house where they, where the, uh, where the dining area is. But the, really the highlight is all this area around fantastically beautiful spot had some drinks and uh some appetizers there then the uh the big dinner was at uh was at guero's taco bar on south congress i don't know any of you are from austin but south congress is the happening part of town and one of the great uh one of the great advantages of, of guero's taco bar is it's just down the street from one of the best music venues in austin texas the continental club and when we were done with dinner we went down to the continental club and uh and we saw one of the rock and roll heroes collectively. I, I don't know about Daddy Troy. I know that this is a rock and roll hero of Daddy Brad. Daddy Troy, rock and roll hero status? Before I came to Austin, hero. Yeah, it defined my Austin experience. Okay, so we are all huge fans of the singer-songwriter James McMurtry. You guys probably know his, uh, uh, his very famous father, Larry McMurtry, author of Lonesome Dove, uh, many others, famous literary figure. Well, his bastard son is one hell of, of, a, of a rock and roll musician, singer-songwriter guy, really intense, and plays with a burning hatred of his audience that's just, it's palpable, the anger that he has at you as he's playing. But anyway, it just so happened that this one guy, who's probably, you know, we would agree is one of our favorites of all time, amazing, amazing musician, happens to be <clears throat> playing at the Continental Club that night, so we take the, uh, we took the uh, baby Swede, baby baby Bjorn crew uh, down to hear James McMurtry play the Continental Club. It's a midnight show, so it ran a little late. Um, but uh, it was really a fantastic time, really. And this and the scene there, it's a small club, loud. And I don't know the last time. When was the last time you guys? I mean, just went and saw a kick-ass rock and roll show. It's been a little while. Not a, he's not a namby pamby kind of singer songwriter with his like acoustic guitar whining. He's he's basically gonna he's basically gonna kick your ass with his music because he's pissed at you. And you're ta- and you guys talking back there, you're really pissing me off. He was uh, he was amazing, um, and it got me thinking that um, in my marriage, I don't know if this is true of, of everybody. But that if we have the time, our free time, our away from the kids time, in our house is always spent together, which is a wonderful thing. That if we have a babysitter or if there's the opportunity for somebody to go out, we usually go out together. We go get a nice dinner somewhere. And usually music isn't involved, but if music was involved, it probably wouldn't be James McMurtry because the wife doesn't like James McMurtry too much. And it certainly wouldn't be a midnight show. Um, and it just made me realize that, uh, that uh, in our family, we really don't do dad's night out, mom's night out. And that's what this kind of turned into is the dads and, you know, baby sweet, baby Bjorn. But, uh, you know, I'm wondering, everybody knows you got to have some time away from the kids, but do you, does there need to be mom's night out and dad's night out? And do you have the time? I mean, you only have a certain number of hours, very limited number of hours where, you, you know, people can be away from the kids when you've got the flexibility to do that. And if you're going to do it, is it okay to ask your partner uh, to do it, you know, without them? Uh you know, maybe, you know, I, some people are listening, you know, looks like you guys do off time. Looks like you guys, uh, you know, and there's definitely time when we, there's definitely time that we give each other off. Like, so mom goes to the gym or I go to, you know, for a run or, you know, she goes to do her errands. I mean, but I'm, not, I'm talking about like recreation time. 
do you guys do mom's night out, dad's night out? You guys do that, don't you, Daddy Troy? Mom's you guys do. You guys do mom and dad's night out. Separate? Like, yeah. We try to. With some regularity. Not enough. Because but... we never do that. We just don't ever. I don't. It's a failing. It's a flaw in the uh, in the marital contract. I think. Uh, I think I think it's worth doing that. Every so often. I don't know. That's what I was discovering last night. I went to a rock and roll show. My kind of thing. I could never get my wife to agree to do that. And I had a ball. I had a ball. Now, I do... There are going to be some consequences in the marriage. We didn't... There's not a whole lot of discussion about the hour that I got in last night, this morning. Um, Not a lot of working through that yet. Um, My guess is that in about mm, about two and a half, three hours, (laughs) that will be the primary... Uh, topic, conversation. I knew that I was in trouble this morning because um, I was feeling a little, I don't know if you do this, um, but uh, you know what, I'm feeling a little bit, I'm having a rough morning. Um, I eat differently. Like every morning, I'm a person of habit. I have a bowl, same bowl of cereal, same thing, every morning. And this morning, it was like <laughs> bacon and eggs, want a biscuit, maybe some potatoes. We live at a boarding school, so I can just run up the dining hall with a fan. We go to the family, goes up the dining hall, and we, 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 we eat at this uh, at the dining hall. They cook breakfast for us, which is a very nice thing. So uh, I was not having my cereal; I was having eggs, and I got I if uh, oh the stuff stink eye oh, the eyeballs that I was getting. Oh, when I sat down with that <laughs> that plate of eggs, <laughs> it was like it was a confession. It, it was my plate said all there was to say. I, I've been bad. I was out late. I'm hungover. And it's bad. Um, Daddy Brad, are you still feeling it? Struggling. <laughs> Str- struggling. struggling. Where everybody's struggling yeah. today. Yeah, yeah, it's hard. It's hard work. I worked late. And I worked hard. Yes, we are seeing the chat. Um, Mr. Ferrer, yes, I see you there. Thank you so much for joining. I really do appreciate it. We're definitely, we're definitely there. Um, and, uh, and, and thank you very much for joining us. Everybody that's, uh, everybody that's watching, chatting, there's, there's, there's a live chat, of course, on Ustream. You can also chat with us if, you, if you're watching at parenting.howcast.com backslash live. I also appreciate the uh, I appreciate the chat there, and we're talking today about whether or not you take in your marriage mom's nights out, dad nights out. I don't do it very much. Finally, sort of had one last night. It was for work. It was a ball. It made me think that maybe we should do that. The problem for me is going to be convincing my wife to go out. Do you, does your wife do, does she do nights out? No problem. No. Yes. Yes. She does. No. No. Yes, she does. Does you really? Yeah. And do you? With the do girls. You, okay, but do you? So she gets girls night out. Do you? Do you? Do you do? I mean, do you get guys night out? Look at me. You're struggling. I know. That's you're struggling. That's a get from guys night out. Yeah, you're yeah. struggling. Yeah, that's yeah. I get into guys nights out. Every do you do? So what's the with percentage? You, I was with you, know. you last night. Well, yeah, last night. Yeah. But what's the percentage of like nights that you go out mm-hmm. with the wife? Yeah. What, I want to know. I want. To, I want mathematics here. Okay. What's the percentage? What's the ratio right. of nights out with your wife mm-hmm. to nights out that you get to go out just with you or your guys? Uh, pre-pregnancy or uh, during pregnancy? Overall, three Overall. to one. Yeah, probably thirty. Yeah, thirty percent guys. That 70% is seventy percent with the wife. That's uh, that's amazing. That is so different. I mean, I don't. We don't I don't ever do it. I never do it. Never. You never go out with your wife. Well, well, rarely. You go, dinner. I mean, you go to dinner. I go to dinner, you yeah. know, two times a month. But it's, I mean, but think about it. Yeah. Well, that's still a lot. Because, you know, I'm talking about maybe 10 times over a year. That you go with the, you go with the guys. No, either. Here, I'm going to give you a little bit yeah. more. Yeah. More screen. Mm-hmm. No, I, yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. yeah, 10 times over the year, go out with the guys. Well, I don't know. I may have to investigate this. The problem is, is that the the mom's night out, dad's night out has got to be a quid pro quo mm. arrangement. I think it's it's more in my house family night out. I, I would say out of ten, 
nights out or just trips after five o'clock. Probably seven with the whole family, two with the wife, and one with the, the boys. Well, yeah, I mean, but I'm, I'm, we're not you know, going out, that. going out with a family. You're talking is, about babysitter action. I'm talking about babysitter action. Yeah, yeah. Where either you're serving as babysitter or there's a babysitter in the house. Three to one. That's it. Well, I, you yeah. know, uh, that's interesting. Is that I'm going to have to think about that. I don't know. I mean, uh, it, it looks to me like, you know, pretty much, you know, that most people Finishing are supporting the idea of, you know, dad's night out. Yeah, I mean, I support mom and dad's night out. I mean, I think it's good for both the girls' night and the boys' night. Okay. All I, right. I'm going to have to look into it. I, I am not, um, I have not been a practitioner I don't do it very often. of this. Yeah, I Come on, Clay. Clay's on TV. Well, interesting. Interesting subject. Uh, also, the big news this week, Dad Labs is getting us some T-shirts. Dad Labs T-shirts on the way, finally. I'm very excited about that. I don't know why. You know what it's like? It's like the same thing as the book. Like, when the book came out, when the book comes out, when the Dad Labs book comes out, and they send you that first box of them, and you get your hands on a copy, and it's an awesome feeling. It's like, wow, we actually did something. And it resulted in not just, you know, ones and zeros, but an actual product was created. And there's, you know, there's knowledge here. Not really. <laughs> not, not actual. I'm, I'm excited about the t-shirts. Yeah. Um, it's going to be, check this out. Let me chill instructor. It's gonna be the it's gonna be a t-shirt. <laughs> One of the fun things about this book that I really like also is that um, is that this little picture is on the front page, and so when you do book signings and stuff, you can just you can kind of create a little bubble that comes out of your mouth and you can say things to people. Anyway, I like this, um, and so that was a really thrilling moment, and I'm really excited about these t-shirts too. I don't. It seems like every startup. Every business, everybody in the world's got t-shirts. We haven't had t-shirts. We've been in business for two years, and we got no t-shirts. That's how broke we are, how pathetic we are as a startup. No t-shirts. And I'm, I'm on camera. I'm on camera, you know, twice a week wearing somebody else's damn t-shirt. I wear Tube Mogul's t-shirts like crazy. Do I ever wear a Dad Labs t-shirt? No, because they don't exist. Well, we finally have taken care of this. We met today with a great company. Our t-shirts are going to be designed by, of course, Outhouse Designs. <laughs> Outhouse Designs here in lovely Austin, Texas. He's going to... Camp! The dog just went ape shit. Sorry, I shouldn't say that. It's a family. I I, I apologize. For that. This is a family. This is a family. Uh, parenting. Dot, uh, .com backslash live is our location. This is a parenting. Well, we do have a T-shirt. We yeah, have we a have. lab coat. We have the dad lab coat, but yeah. it's not as cool because you can't. Like if I walk outside, if I went outside with this on, just walking down the street. Yeah. People would think I was a little, you know, off kilter. Yeah, it's hard. To, it's hard to get uh, a lot of props for the uh, for the lab coat when you're on the street. People, you know, say, "Hey, can you give me a, uh, a hernia uh, exam or something?" So we <laughs> cough. You know, hey, I'm feeling a little. Um, feel a little. Uh, it hurts uh, when I do this, <laughs> and don't do that. Oh yeah, it's got itchy, doc. You know. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Favor points out you could pick up dental hygienists that way. Oh really? Yeah. Dude, be, it's hot. Yes. Hot they for like that. Lab coats? So we so we go to Outhouse Designs today. We sit yes. down with the with the nice ladies from Outhouse Designs, and they're going to create some Dad Labs T-shirts. We should have those for sale. Who knows? Could take a couple of weeks to get it all put together, but I am confident that there will be Dad Labs T-shirts, and I'm pretty pumped about it. Um, we'll get those on our new cool store at DadLabs.com. Where, if you want to, I mean, I'm not saying you have to, but uh, you can buy both. They have those at dadlabs.com in our store, along with some other cool products. But pretty soon there'll be t-shirts there, and, and I'm, I'm really excited about it. Because if you have a t-shirt, it's real. Um, so went out looking for, for daddy news um, off the news feeds. I don't know if you guys know, um, if you're out there on the news feeds and which daddy blogs and where you get. Um, I've got, you know, got Google News, and I've got searches on dads, fathers, parenting, all that kind of stuff. And that yields a very mixed bag of, of information um, in terms of where, where we go. Uh, uh, question, what, what's going to be on the shirt? 
That's a good question. Um, we are still very poor. This would be the perfect, thank you for pointing it out, Mr. Favor, that uh, this would be the perfect Father's Day gift. If we can get it out in time for Father's Day, which we'd like to, the Dad Labs book. If you've got, if you know a dude that's expecting and you don't give him the Dad Labs book for Father's Day, you're a loser and a bad friend and, you know, other bad things. So you definitely should do that. Um, the t-shirt, I think... Com- it, you're a communist. So the t- wait, wait, wait. Yeah. So the t-shirt is actually going to be a big right blow... Right this right is there. the old Dad Labs logo right here. It's a and, test tube. And there's a test tube with the L. And it, This one yeah. says Building Better Dads yeah, under yeah, here. Yeah. We don't like that. We taking, also have one that says Taking Back Paternity. Yeah. And that's what it'll say. You buy it. You. So... You, you. I'm not gra- I didn't touch him inappropriately. That was in the clothing. <laughs> this is touching him inappropriately. Dude, you want an arm wrestle? Ugh. No, don't do that. I know. I know. When Brad gets carried away, um, and I'm surprised this didn't happen last night. When Brad gets carried away, he starts to arm wrestle people. I challenge anybody out there to an arm wrestle. He will arm wrestle people, strangers in a bar. He'll arm wrestle them. That's right. My favorite movie, the one with Sly Stallone. Over the top, baby. Woo! Over the top. So the t-shirt will be the old school Dad Labs logo, Dad Labs, and it says Taking Back Paternity underneath it. It'll say Dad Labs in the back. It'd be very cool. When I have, I've got, after, if that one will sell, so many people will buy some t-shirts. Then we can expand and do some additional designs. I really want like this really, um, yeah, exactly. Go to dadlabs.com. Submit a t-shirt idea. I have this idea of like, you know, baby bottle and beer bottle. Sort of, you know, cross swords or something like that. Um, but uh, employees must wash hands. Yes. Everyone should. Yes. Those kind of things. Yeah. So anyway, um, I was talking about uh, I was talking about going out and doing some searches for dad information. I'm in, curious about where you guys go. Um, I was looking for the obviously I put in my my Google search term my uh, my news feed, dads, fatherhood, fathers. And I get a fairly weak, uh, a fairly weak result from that. Um, you know, not 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 very good pickup. If I'm if I'm going beyond that, uh, I'm curious where you guys go to figure out what's in the parenting news uh, these days. The other spot I go to is the Motherload blog, which is the New York Times parenting blog. I also like the Juggle, which is the Wall Street Journal's parenting blog. Those are the places I say, okay, so what's going on? Uh, rebeldad.com he doesn't update very often but when he does it's really you know it's it's a, a great source of news and information of what's going on with dads and parenting like if I, if I want to know what the what's the controversy du jour um, motherload the juggle are, are great sources because you know a lot of blogs are there's there's a lot of really great dad blogs out there that are entertaining um, dad gone mad looky daddy uh, there's really bad, really bad parent. Yes. Um, so, you know, those are good sources. And I also like daddy types. Um, although it's, you know, he's, he's really into at daddy types. He's really into design. He's really into, you know, sort of, uh, antique toys and, uh, stroller design. That's all cool. But he also definitely, if there is some kind of, uh, parenting controversy in the air he's usually good to weigh in on that and he does freak out friday which i really like so you should check out um daddy types on fridays because he does freak out friday which is sort of about all the things in the news that are making him nuts but really the only thing that i could find in the news that i thought was worthy of discussion this week is um is the news about phil mickelson and this is sort of uh celebrity athlete related which isn't you know which i i think usually isn't um you know, not usually worthy of the attention it gets in terms of parenting. But so Phil Mickelson announced that he is leaving the PGA Tour. He is stopping working to support his wife while she undergoes cancer treatment. And um, I wonder how many people would be able to make that same choice. Obviously, he is a very wealthy and successful guy. He doesn't have the financial pressures that a lot of other people do. But would you or could you tolerate a leave or would you, I mean, could you leave work if your, if your partner was, uh, was seriously ill? This guy is doing it. He's saying, okay, um, too bad. You know, I, I've got, uh, <laughs> I've got ambition. 
I've got a, you know millions of dollars at stake here, but uh, I'm I'm gonna leave it behind and and uh, and go be my be my wife be my be with my wife. Excuse me. Um, so I think that it's one of the rare instances where you read a story about celebrity parenting, which is most of the stories are you know it's 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 sort of an exercise in product placement. You know, I mean, most of these stories that are about that you see out there about celebrity moms and babies, it's it's about what kind of stuff they they have, and um, or that they're you know they're loony, you know. Uh, but this story is, uh, I think, is an interesting one, and um, I know that's got to be a really painful decision for a lot of dads, and I can't imagine that many dads can do it. I mean, who can, uh, who can, who can pull that off? Uh, and, uh, boy, I put myself in that situation. I, you know, maybe we could, I mean, if her, if her place of work would continue to pay her, um, which my guess is they would, then, uh, yeah, I guess I probably, let's hope that doesn't happen. I mean, obviously it's not something you want to think very much about, but. Sorry, Troy, I'd have to bail on you. We are on this planet for a very short time. Wow. That was deep. Um, so anyway, uh, I, I'm curious, do you guys, does it make you think better of Phil Mickelson? Is, it, is he a role model in this behavior? Or is he simply doing what any uh, thoughtful guy that's a millionaire would do if his, if his wife was diagnosed with cancer. Um, I think it's a, I think it's a fairly, fairly interesting question. Um, so talk a little bit about, um, about dad labs and what's on the site this week, the videos that we released, we got some really good material out this week. Um, one of our really good friends at dad labs is, uh, um, Dr. Kaylin Silverberg at the Texas fertility center. Um, Dr. Silverberg has just been a great resource for us. Whenever we've got questions or there's topics regarding fertility, fertility medicine, um, you know, basically anything regarding reproductive health, uh, Kalen Silverberg has been our go-to guy. And um, he opens up his office, invites us in, lets us shoot, us, shoot there, and answers my very goofy questions. Well, this week um, we did uh, just a little informational um, video that was about what you can expect um, when you, uh, you get your ultrasound, uh, when you go to get an ultrasound. It was ultrasound this week, not, not uh, first visit to the fertility clinic, right? Sir? This week's lab is the lab about the ultrasound, right? Ultrasound, yes. Yeah, okay, so. Next week's first visit to the fertility clinic. Next week is fertility clinic. But this week is basically, you know, this is for people that are having their first baby. They need some information. What is this whole, what's this whole uh, ultrasound? What can we expect? What will it be like? What do we think about the, these uh, stores in the mall that sell ultrasounds? Anyway, um, so we talk all about that. Ultrasounds on the lab with yeah. Kaylin Silverberg. I had an ultrasound this week. Well, my wife did. And it's amazing. Well, yeah. I mean, those those first those first those first ultrasounds are pretty pretty amazing. Yeah, you know, we've had them every every two weeks for a while. Yeah. And uh, you can you can chart the growth of the baby down to less than an ounce, as far as the weight. You right. know how much it weighs. Yeah, and you guys, it's been complicated. It's been a complicated yeah. pregnancy. Yeah. You guys yeah. have had some uh... advanced maternal age. I mean, not me, because <laughs> you know. You're only as young as you feel. I'm a 123 today. And what and what is your maternal age? <laughs> well, is, that, maternal is that like dog years or something? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think so. My paternal age is probably, you know, my real age is 27. So, yeah, no, we've had ultrasounds. Amazing. Yeah. Just throw that out there. So, you know, it was sort of a a, uh, a beginner's guide to what to expect from an ultrasound appointment. And uh, Kalen Silverberg was awesome. We've got him back on the site next week where he's talking about what you can expect Next week um, in the lab, it's uh, another Dr. Kalen Silverberg video, but it's him talking about how, when, why visit a fertility specialist. What are the triggers? And what can you expect from your first visit uh, to see a fertility specialist? He's a very good interview, that guy. He's articulate. He keeps things very concise. And uh, he's perfect for, uh, perfect for video. So you can check him out this week. He was in the lab. 
Tuesday's quality time. Uh, a little rant from me on uh, special restaurants to take the kids to for uh, for birthdays, special occasions. Uh, my kids uh, have a have a thing for that teppanyaki steakhouse uh, and our uh, particular uh, Benihana. So a little bit about that. Kind of a personal rant um, on. Uh, on that, that was on Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday's Hot Dad Action, starring Owen Edgerton, was absolutely hilarious. We were run, we were running incredibly behind in production this week. Our trip to LA a couple weeks ago caused some real complications in terms of our filming and release schedule. Usually, we're shooting things two weeks before we release them, which is a pretty compact shooting schedule. But because of that, and having to negotiate with the managers of the comedians that we filmed in LA has been a little bit complicated so we're running behind and we're filming things and we we had to film Owen's piece because they rejected something that had a famous comedian in it that they didn't want released yet so we couldn't we couldn't release our video with <laughs> Kevin Nealon we couldn't release the, that video um, because uh, they don't want it out yet so um, so we had to film something really fast. Owen went and, and got his buddy Mac. They wrote a hilarious bit. We aired it um, yesterday. And uh, that piece is uh, it's called Hippie Parents Eating Hummus. And so go to Hippie Parents Eating Hummus and, uh, and uh, hot dad action there and watch that because it's really, really funny. Um, and then we've got one final video to release this week. Um, and I think we'll do that either today or maybe tomorrow. Um, and uh, that's Daddy Troy. Daddy Troy, what do you uh, tell us about the show that you had on, uh, that you're putting on for tomorrow? This is an iPod Touch. And uh, we walk through all the features on an iPod Touch that you can use as a parent when you give it to your kids, such as volume control and... Uh, turning off the internet and things like that. We also look at some educational software, one of my favorites being the stargazing software. So uh, I'll take off my glasses so you can see my eyes. Anyway, some stargazing software. So check this out, iPod Touch, really cool device for Apple. Yeah, we, that was inspired because um, one, of my, uh, one of my good friends, Mommy Octavia, uh, let me know that um, her boys had been given an iPod Touch and they're, you know, the, her oldest is about the same age as my son, about 10. And I was like, really? Are people giving their kids iPod Touches? Do they realize the functionality of this device? Do they realize they're handing, uh, you know, a web browser to the kid? Email? I mean, there's, the, you know, the App Store, all that. And I think a lot of parents that, you know, they just think it's an iPod. And they, so we thought it was really important um, that we do a video on the parental controls on the um, iPod Touch, and so we did a whole we did a whole video on that. Daddy Troy filmed it up, and thank you, Apple. Apple actually sent us an iPod Touch to uh, to test out and to demo all the parental controls on the device. So thanks a lot, Apple. That was that was cool. That was awesome. We called Apple, and they actually sent us one. Um, so that was very cool, and that that video goes up very soon. So you definitely want to check that one out, and that's one that's perfect. For Howcast, you'll be able to watch it at Howcast. Exactly the kind of things you, you got there. And that's, of course, where you want to watch this, uh, this broadcast uh, live every week Thursday, starting at 2 o'clock at parenting.howcast.com backslash live. Um, there's a great uh, uh, parenting uh, sort of center there um, that we moderate. And um, it's called a hub. And uh, the parenting hub there is terrific. So I hope you'll, you'll definitely, I've, I've, I've put a whole bunch of our videos that are sort of how-to. Other people have also put some there. Um, it's a good place to go and find all the sort of relevant um, how-to oriented Dad Labs videos are all going to be at that hub. So I recommend that to you. Um, so that's about it. That's sort of uh, what's been going on here at Dad Labs. Uh, and uh, and uh, what's been going up on the site? So you're you're pretty caught up there. Um, I hope to see you there. If you haven't registered already at DadLabs.com, wish you would. And um, and also thanks to to all the good folks at Howcast for hosting this uh, this live broadcast. And 
Hope to see everybody back here uh, next week, every Thursday at 2 o'clock for just about a half an hour. We sit down and talk about what's going on at dadlabs.com. Thanks a lot, guys, and uh, hopefully we will, uh, we'll see you next week. Take care.